Welcome to part two of this series in which we demonstrate multimedia performance of similarly priced client platforms. On the left hand side we have a Windows 7 virtual machine running on a VMware ESX server using a View 4.5 PCO by IP protocol connection to a Zero client. In this case we're using a Samsung NC240 24 inch display device as the client. On the right hand side we're using an identical Windows 7 virtual machine that's running on the same ESX server. This time we're using a Zen Desktop 4 connection to a Via Eden class client processor. So another aspect to consider is the performance of uh, accessing flash intensive websites. And in this case we've loaded a very popular flash uh, intensive website called agencynet.com. And we have both the Zen Desktop and the View 4.5 environments. And we're going to trans traverse to a page and compare the performance. So, on Zen Desktop 4, I've accessed the clients area of the website, and it's now accessing the site, and you can see it's loading. And now I'm going to access it uh, from the View 4.5 environment. And remember that this is with the Flash multimedia redirect enabled in the case of the Zen Desktop environment. So you'll see, even though we started afterwards, the View 4.5 environment has now uh, accessed the site, and in fact we're moving across and we're navigating the website. Whereas the Zen Desktop environment is still loading the web page. Once it's loaded, let's have a look at the comparative frame rates. Um, it's now accessed the website and you can see the relatively slow frame rate. So we'll start uh, traversing the website and see what the frame, how the frames compare. So this is flash intensive and you can see uh, in the case of viewpoint 4.5 you use 3 or 4 frames per second but in the case of the Zen desktop environment you're looking at far below a single frame per second. For this last test what we're going to do is compare um, performance of third party uh, applications on the thin client environment uh, or this versus uh, the zero client environment. So we've visiting another popular website, Flash Nifties, and we're going to look at how uh, an Adobe Air application called Pixis, which is an overlay ruler, interacts with the Flash application. So starting with the View 4.5 environment, let's uh, enlarge a photograph at the Flash Nifties website and watch what happens when we drag a Pixis ruler over uh, the application. So the ruler is an overlay which allows you to select detail from the uh, picture. So what you can see we've done here is we've selected part of the image and the rest of it is uh, grayed out using some alpha blending uh, of the frame buffer. So looking at the Zen Desktop 4 environment, let's first start by enlarging the same picture. You can see based on the slower frame rate it takes a bit longer to render. And then we'll drag the Pixis window over the uh, environment. You can see some strange artifacts as the Pixis window uh, is drawn and that's because uh, the Zen Desktop has to decide whether the ruler is being rendered on this client or host. You effectively have a host rendered ruler interacting with a client rendered frame buffer so you can see the blue haloing effect around the edge of the window. Now what happens when we actually select the highlighting tool uh, associated with the Pixis which allows us to uh, just select the area of interest, the rest of the frame buffer, in fact the rest of the entire browser uh, goes blue because it's uh, we don't have synchronization between the browser and the thin client environment and the host environment. So what we have here is the thin client completely influencing the way that uh, a user is experiencing their desktop as opposed to the view 4.5 environment where the user experience is identical as if they were using a standard computer. Thanks for watching. Please check back to Teradici Labs for future demonstrations.